Hello everybody. Welcome back today to another video on Backwoods TN. Last load of the day. Hello everybody. Welcome back today to another video on Backwoods TN. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's uh, staying safe. Everybody's healthy. I like good stuff. Before we get into today's video, I'd like to say, uh, before we go any farther, we're about 400 subscribers right now away from hitting 10,000 like we've been talking about here for a little while. Uh, if you want to be a part of that, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you guys along. And if you don't, that's that's fine too. It ain't for everybody. I understand that. So, but if you do enjoy it, hit that subscribe button. But uh, right now we're wrapping up our day, and uh, I wanted to film today a hauling video for you guys. We've not done one of those in a while. Uh, you've pretty much just seen us in the woods for a while. You've not seen us over the road much in a little while. So today we're going to film a hauling video for you guys. So right now, flip the camera around and show y'all what we got going on right now. So right now, we're banding up both of our trucks. So to the left right there, old dual axle road tractor international. We've got two bundles or two bunks rather, of uh, grade logs going to go. It's like Connors will finish and bang it down that. So these are grade logs. This stuff will get sawed into lumber. Some of it probably ties. Uh, maybe a few stave logs in there. Um, so yeah, that's what primarily this stuff will go for. So that's our uh, double bunk log trailer full of grade logs. Dual axle road tractor international right there. And then over here, I'm one of the, probably the fan favorite on this channel truck, O57. He has pallet wood on it. So that'll be hauled, that'll be cut up into pallet wood, uh, you know, pallet cans, runners to make pallets with. So, both loaded up this morning, or this evening rather. And uh, yeah, we're just wrapping the day up. I'm gonna get it banded for deal for tomorrow morning. Yeah. Looks like everything is banded down and ready to go. Just wanted to show you guys before tomorrow comes around, kind of what it's looking like. It's not supposed to rain tonight, so I'll leave that window right there down. But this is old 57, our flatbed, uh, international. Doesn't have quite have the power the dual axles got over there, but it does good. It's usually really reliable. But we're gonna leave right now, hit the road, go to the house, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow. I'll send a camera with Connor and Dad, and I'll keep a camera for myself. And uh, so we'll take you on tomorrow morning's journeys. So hope you guys get a good night's sleep. We'll see you in the morning. All right, good morning, everybody. So uh, the next morning, and funny story. So last night I went and put my camera on the charger. That way I could give to Dad and Connor last night. I was supposed to put it in my mailbox so they could pick it up on the way out, but last night I fell asleep after I put the camera on charge. Uh, so they didn't have a camera this morning, but so anyway, that's okay. I still have the camera. Uh, they probably are going to be getting back from hauling their logs sometime soon. I never dad hauls logs. He likes to get out early before the traffic gets out and everything. 
So uh, he'll probably be getting back pretty shortly, I would say. It's around seven o'clock right now, but uh, I'm about to go hop in the truck, head over and uh, haul my load. So let's go. <laughs> back to old 57 this morning gonna start her up let's start building some air check the straps do a little walk around and then we will get on the road Not a bad little load. All right, so you guys are gonna be riding back here. I'm sorry there wasn't enough room up front this time. Um, got some stuff in there so you guys couldn't fit in there this time. Um, so y'all gonna ride back here on the back today. Uh, I'd probably just buckle up real good. Um, and maybe if we go by any mailboxes or anything, just kind of lean in because I've been known to hit mailboxes. So uh, yeah, I'll see you there. Y'all, but no joke, I'm always a little bit nervous whenever the GoPro's on the back. If y'all can see it or not. I've done it a few times before, so I think we should be good, so. y'all so we got a couple people in front of us normally there's never hardly backed up like this but today it is so that first truck up there it's about done then we'll have this guy and then we'll get unloaded next so Moving on up, everybody. We're moving on up. Looks like they're gonna move us down here to the old Barco knuckle boom. I think it was getting a little bit too crowded up there, so we're gonna come over here and get our wood set off real quick. As you just 
just see him run loaded. Headed back to the woods now. All right, guys, we got Big Red loaded almost. Let's show him. How many loads that made? Three. Huh? Three today. That's three. Three today and probably about seven this week. Yeah, so we're, this is a pretty good load here. We finally got into some trees that ain't got holes in them. You see our beautiful piles of trees that's got holes in them over there. We're gonna cut up this big red oak right here. Connor's gonna film it. Still started running a little bit better. He gets another 500 eye to cut up with. Yep. Be nice, it? Yep. not had time to go to the store and get us new one. But as you can see, on these teeth that are going this direction, it's missing in a row. One, two, three, four teeth in a row. Going that direction. So it needs a new chain, but I've got it filed where it's still cutting pretty good. So, it's doing all right. But we need a new chain this week for sure. And we need some more files.
last low headed out. Last low of the day. Old Mustang. Timber Jack been doing some good pulling here. Last few days. Hit the road, everybody. All right, guys, they got the logs out here. I was back there trying to work on my chain a little bit on my saw, but uh, another load of logs ready to go in tomorrow morning. So, uh, good looking load right there. All right, everybody. So I wanted to include this real quick. I thought this was pretty cool. So just outside of the house right here. And uh, if you look this way faintly, in this video, you can see the Aurora Borealis or the Northern Lights are visible in uh, Tennessee tonight. So you can't see it quite as well on video. I'm gonna throw a couple pictures in here. Thought this was pretty cool. So uh, enjoy. But y'all, this is gonna wrap up today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Don't forget guys, on the push for 10,000 subscribers. Each and every one of y'all that hit the subscribe button, I do appreciate it. it, means a lot. About 350 away at this point, I do believe. So keep hitting that button for me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hit the like button, comment, and always appreciate that as well, guys. But have a good one, God bless, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a good day.